So today, I want to talk about my XD9 Mod 2. It's clear. No magazine. So... I haven't reviewed the gun since my initial tabletop review back in the uh, beginning of uh, last year it is now January so I've had this thing for almost a full year um, let, me, let me pull up a um, quick record real quick here I do keep a running spreadsheet of my shooting experience with the gun as well as uh, round count so let me see if I can pull up so I shot a total of 310 rounds out of it um, that's the second most fired gun that I have so far um, recently fired it back uh, November 29th general assessment is that it it eats ammo I, I don't think I remember it having a problem with with ammo in general let's see here so of the hundred that I fired last in November um, let's see there were no jams of the federal HST 124 grain JHP uh, that's self-defense ammo um, it didn't jam on any of those um, the rest of those of that hundred were Remington UMC 147 grain flat nose FMJ uh, one round jammed really hard and I had an issue with the gun where I had to get assistance from the uh, from the range faculty the slide was locked forward uh well it it wouldn't lock back it wouldn't even draw back um so one staffer couldn't get it open uh, they went and got another staffer who was who was more i guess beefy and uh he pretty much forced it open not with a tool but with his hands um and i think it was because of the ammo when i looked at the ammo the uh the front of the case right where the uh the uh the jacketed uh projectile and the case meet uh it was bent on the case and i've seen that before with my uh grand power so uh i'm losing a little bit of faith in the uh remington umc uh, at least the flat nose that i have um they jam they, they've been given several of my weapons a problem um, and it's only that ammo let's see let's go back to the range visit before that which was in August no malfunctions whatsoever uh, most of these were Remington UMC 115 grain JHP one round uh, one mag of that was Remington HTP 115 grain plus P and I shot 130 rounds that visit. The visit before that was March. Fired Remington UMC JHP. This says 155 grain. I highly doubt that. There's something 115 grain. That's what that means. Uh, without any issues, no FTEs or FTFs. I fired 50 rounds. And then my very first visit to the range, I fired 30 rounds. Um, no issues whatsoever shooting this gun although with the small bag it is difficult for me to grip my big hands don't help <laughs> okay so not a lot of rounds through the gun um, but it's been solid um, it's pretty much eaten every single round with the exception of one so out of the 310 rounds that has been through the barrel only one round uh, got jammed up in there uh, that's 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 not too bad um, my shooting experience with this is that it is uh, 
surprisingly uh, accurate. You would think such a small gun would be difficult to control. Um, it would be snappy. Um, no. This gun is, is extremely easy to control. Um, the last range visit I actually took a, took a quick shot at a target. Uh, I usually shoot at 7 to 10 yards out. Um, I had no problem putting them in the, the bullseye and nine ring. And, and that was, that was a little bit different than my, my first, um, visit. This is the smallest, the shortest barreled gun that I have. Prior to that, I'd, I'd never fired a, you know, a small gun, a subcompact. And, uh, it, it's a, it's a pleasant shooter. Uh, this is the nine mil version. M many people don't like the grip zone here. Yeah, you know what? Let me check the uh, view screen to make sure that uh, screen isn't washing out my uh, footage here, and it was. So many people don't like the fact that it says grip zone here. That doesn't bother me at all. If you look at any almost any gun, I mean, look at all the other badges here. It says made in Croatia, mod two, subcompact, XD nine. On this side, Springfield Armory, XD. So it's got all this stuff on it, right? And then someone focuses on, I don't like grip zone. What about all this other crap here? And every single gun is like that. Every single gun that, that, that I own at least has like all of these trademarks and, and, and branding, you know, and things like that. People get OCD on this, but they don't get OCD on the rest of the stuff. I don't get it. This is just a marketing uh, name. Uh, it's what they call the pattern of textures that makes this gun shoot the way it does. You cannot argue that this gun uh, doesn't shoot well because of the grip grip zone, right? <coughs> So, so you can hate the name all you want, um, but it is what it is. If you don't like it, either don't buy the gun or take a Dremel or stipple over it or whatever. Fill it in with something. I don't know. But uh, it's never bothered me. I mean, it's a tool. And half the time when, I mean, the only way to use this is to grip, the, the, the grip, right? Do you see the words grip zone anywhere while you're holding it? No. Sighting this is pretty pretty easy. I like the front fiber optic. Um, I'm trying to think of any other thing. Uh, guns wearing pretty good. Um, there's a little bit of wear here. Again, I treat my guns as tools, so I don't really care about any uh, wear marks. Um, I do lube my guns with grease, so you're going to see grease there. I know people don't, uh, uh, they're, you know, some people believe in oil only. I, I believe in grease on the rails. In fact, grease stays put, oil doesn't. And I, and I talk about that in one of my other videos. Um, that's, that's mainly why I prefer to grease, because it stays put. One other thing. So... <clears throat> in my tabletop video um, caused a lot of controversy to the point to where I actually had to start moderating comments so now comments can't be left without approval um, I've only just now started getting sane comments some of the comments were just ridiculous and uh, people would kinda just drive by and leave nasty messages um, that's the internet right but uh that that particular page that is my world so you guys <clears throat> can hide behind free speech and the internet all you want but when you come to my uh my youtube channel i will moderate i, I don't like ugliness um you can believe what you want but uh <clears throat> let's let's talk about what spurned what spurred all those comments um these two magazines someone's gonna tell me that these are more than 10 rounds I'm telling you right now they're not 
Um, I bought this gun with two 10 round magazines. So we'll count the rounds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eesh. Nine, ten. That's a ten round magazine. Also, I want you to look at this. Let's see if you can see it. You should be able to see it. It says Springfield Armory. It says nine millimeter, ten round. Springfield Armory. Where's a, a pointer here? Springfield Armory. Nine millimeter, ten round. This is not an altered magazine. This is not a customized magazine. This is directly from Springfield Armory. They sell 10 round magazines. You could actually look up, look it up in their, uh, in their, the parts part of their, their webpage. You could actually pull up 10 round magazines. Um, so, so someone didn't alter these magazines and sell them to me trying to get over. Uh, no, I specifically bought 10 round, a package uh, of the gun and the the mags and the mags were 10 round magazines both of them I bought that package because I was due to move to California and I didn't want to buy a standard set of the gun with the standard uh, round count magazines and end up going to California and having to alter them. It's dusty here. So if you look here, it says ten in the in the witness window. Right next to it, it says ten. There is there is no more. So I'm thinking this this is a standard size. It's just that you can only squeeze ten in here, and there's only ten labeled on the witness window. So I'm betting that one of two things are happening. Uh, there is a base plate that's making it so that you can only add 10 rounds in here. It's probably sticking up here. Or, well, that might be it right there. This little indentation. Or, there's something on the follower that's poking down to where it'll bottom out sooner than, than normal. And you can only add 10 rounds in. But I'm pretty sure it's, it's probably it probably has to do with this. This one's the same way. Okay, where's my viewer? This says Springfield Armory. 9mm, 10 round. There's 10 rounds in here. There's the witness mark. There's the witness uh, window. You can see a bullet in there. Uh, and it says 10 right there. That's a 10 round magazine. This one is more than likely the same way. It's got a the big one's got a mag sleeve, and there you go. It's got a little indentation right there that's probably stopping extra rounds from going in. So <clears throat> my Glock is the same way. If you look on the bottom, um, it has Glock badging, and you can buy ten rounders from a Glock uh, vendor or a Glock uh, what do you call it retailer. Um, so, just because you see guns that are show, sold with 10 magazines does not mean that you're getting, I guess someone's getting over on you by sliding in different mags. Um, another thing about that video is people are kind of been out of shape thinking that this gun, this particular gun is a, is California, is not illegal in California not legal in California the wrong <clears throat> on the private market you can find mod 2's uh, you can find this version and probably you probably well you might not be able to find any uh, of the uh, service models uh, those are just released a couple of months ago um, people got this because of uh, the what do you call it the single shot exemption SSE uh, that ended last 
December 31st. Not this past, but the past before. The, the December before. Um, so a lot of people were buying, trying to get what they needed before uh, SSE expired. So that's, that's one way where people were buying off-roster guns. Another way to, to bring to import an off-roster gun legally is to become... Uh, to move to California, bringing these, bringing your guns with you, moving to California with the plan to become a California state citizen with handguns. Nothing is off limits that is a semi-automatic, as long as it has ten round magazines. So this gun, you cannot buy it via retail. You cannot buy it outside of California um, through like Gander Mountain or or online, you know, online shopping. You can't buy it that way, and they won't allow you to. It has to be on their approved on on their uh, DOJ approved uh, roster of guns. This gun is not on there. But again. There are some ways that you can get this gun. One of them is if you move there and you have this gun already in your arsenal. You could bring it in, you register it, as with all your handguns. Um, ensure that it has 10 round mags. You can buy buy these from, from Springfield Armory. Or you can buy the standard ones. They just have to go to an FFL that has a license for... Um, larger than 10 round magazines and what they do is they stake them and what I mean by stake them is they take a standard uh, larger than 10 round magazine and they make it a 10 round magazine just like this they won't they won't do this but they'll they'll stick a, a, a rivet in there or something and use glue and make sure that uh, it can't be reverted back to its natural state um, as well so you could buy from someone, private party, who moved to California and brought one of these guns with them. Um, you could buy from a from a uh, from a gun store in California that um, bought a gun from someone, uh, private party. I believe you can do that. Um, once the gun's in California, it's 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 in it's good. I mean. It's not something like it, it only stays with you. Once a gun is in California and it's brought there by someone who just moved there and, and happened to bring their gun with them, um, they could sell that gun to someone else. Private party transfer. And that gun can migrate every year for the next 30 years to a different owner with no problem whatsoever. Uh, you know, there's there's been a couple of... Uh, high-profile online uh, gun reviewers and, and, and gun celebrities who who stated this, and I'm going to say it. Sometimes I think the gun community is their own worst enemy. Instead of lifting each other up, half the time uh, we tear each other down. Um, that one video generated a ton of negativity. Uh, none of it was really called for. Um... And, you know, me being who I am, I'm not going to sit here and bend the pressure when it's unneeded. You know, this is the internet uh, we're talking about here where, you know, <clears throat> I don't believe everything I read on the internet. Neither should you guys. But at the same time, uh, before opening your mouth and, 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 and confronting someone over something that you believe is true, make sure it's true. Now, you wouldn't believe the amount of people that that, that send me a uh, that attempt to leave a, a comment, and of course they can't because before it can be approved, I have to approve it, right? So they leave these comments, and I'm thinking, did this guy actually read the California statutes? I mean, I actually copied and pasted a lot of it from the actual statutes into the the description on the uh, 
on that particular video. If you don't believe me, just follow the link and read it. So, I mean, it's not rocket science. I mean, sure, there's some added complex, uh, what do you call it, complex complexities. <laughs> uh, if you live in California or plan on moving to California. Um, but the statues aren't so crazy that people should be speaking out of their anus about them, you know. Uh, especially if you you live there and you carrying and 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 you own one because uh, uh, the littlest slip up will land your ass in jail. Uh, they they don't play out there. Um, it, that's not you know it's not the wild wild west out there. That's wild wild Hollywood out there. Um, they will hang your butt out to dry. So I mean, uh, half to half of what I what I gained from you know knowledge wise half of what I where where my knowledge came from is uh cowguns.net um there's a ton of information there um but in the end what I did was I actually went to the the California statutes because even there people don't know half of what they're talking about you know it's the blind leading the blind half the time uh, I'm not saying that 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 whole forum doesn't understand uh, California gun laws, but I was astounded by the number of people who actually live in California and posting on that forum, and they don't know anything about their own state's uh, laws. Kind of scary, in my opinion. But um, yeah, I di I didn't mean for this video to be that long, but I did want to uh, just point out uh, some things. You know, I guess I'm going to still be using this from time to time, um, but <clears throat> I won't be carrying it as much anymore because I'm carrying my grand power now. <clears throat> there is one in the chamber here. Uh, it's set in double action mode. It is a DASA hammer fire gun. Um, it's roughly, it's a little bit, it's a little bit bigger than a, uh, than the XD. Um, they fired, they, both of them are very, they're, they're soft firing guns. I wanted to give this one a shot. It's one of my favorite guns, and so I actually wanted to, uh, to start carrying it, and I am.